Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See General Hospital's star Sunny kill Nina for the fan's new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Is the truth finally about to come out on General Hospital? We know, that's a loaded question in Port Charles, but the revelation we're talking about is Nina throwing Carly and Drew under the bus for insider trading and sending the latter off to prison for a time. If there was ever a time for it to happen, it would be now. Sonny and Nina finally got married after what feels like years of build-up, which means things are bound to go wrong for them. Then there's spoilers for next week, from Nina unleashing her fury on someone. Dare we guess a certain ex-wife of Sonny's? To Carly running off to get answers from Sonny. And then finally, by Friday, November 17, it's Sonny's turn to wrest the truth from Nina. So does that mean Sona is just about at the end of their road? Laura Wright joins Spinelli and Jason, otherwise known as Bradford Anderson and Days of Our Lives' Steve Burton. On the very first episode of the Daily Drama podcast and chatted about virtually all things Carly on General Hospital. And two of the biggest figures in Carly's life, whether she wants them to be or not, are Nina and Sonny. When Burton brought up the recent marriage, Anderson scoffed, and that's not under duress. No, Wright confirmed, willingly. Anderson then asked what the odds were in those two lasting. It probably won't surprise many folks, but none of them thought they were very good. First off, as Wright pointed out, Sonny isn't exactly known for sticking with one woman. I mean, we all know it's Sonny, she laughed. Sonny's a love bobber. Love the one you're with. He falls in love, and then he's like, Hey, what's your name? How are you doing? On to the next girl. But then she filled the fellas in on what Nina had done in turning Drew and Carly in for insider trading. Drew just got out of prison after he went to jail for Carly, but none of us know what Nina had done, Wright admitted. Carly is sure to be furious when she finds out what happened and reigns wholly held down on Nina's head. But that could be nothing compared to Sonny's reaction. Listen, Burton insisted, if Sonny does not get rid of Nina in the river, I mean, what Sonny are we talking about? Anderson pointed out that he thought the river drowning was more Jason's thing. But Burton just shrugged that off, pointing out, well, Sonny taught me. Israeli hostage sister on a public speech about the hostage crisis. In other words, Jason's not around so Sonny would have to do his own dirty work. Still, Sonny isn't quite the violent guy of old. Plus, he's got something of a soft spot for Nina already. I mean, seriously, Wright pointed out, she kept him from his family for nine months, and he chose her over Carly, and had an affair. What's a little insider trading betrayal compared to that? Will Sona survive the revelation? Will Nina? All we know is that we'll have to keep an eye out on General Hospital next week, because it sure sounds like the you-know-what is about to hit the fan. The week of October 23, General Hospital hands Michael all the power. Though he could just tell Sonny immediately that Nina ratted out Carly to the SDC, the chip off the old block doesn't. He instead decides to use the explosive intel to his advantage, according to Soap Opera Digest. At first, Nina feebly attempts to deny that she had Martin report the crime that Carly did, in fact, commit. But then, Cynthia Watros tells the magazine, there comes a point where she just looks at him and says, what do you want? Nina doesn't like Michael's answer either. His endgame is keeping her away from daughter Willow as much as humanly possible. And at the moment, it's possible the two will be kept almost entirely apart. Michael, says Watros, can't get past that rage to actually see that Nina is trying really hard. I don't think he's thinking clearly, she adds. Even if, as Michael says he will, he protects Sonny's happiness by keeping Nina's secret, that hardly means that she is in the clear. Blabbermouth Martin obviously knows what she did, and if Eddie ever remembers that he's Ned, he'll likely recall that he'd figured out Nina's part in Drew's prison stay too. She is between a rock and a hard place, 
sums up Watros, and I love playing that. General Hospital had better build up a lot of momentum to get over the hump of hump day this week, cause on Wednesday, October 25, the fit hits the shan, as they say, as Carly is being smacked with news that will definitely leave her head spinning. Nemesis, Nina feels the ground beneath her feet crumbling. Mind you, given the big secret that she'd been keeping for so long, that she was the one who blew the whistle on Carly's insider trading scheme. Nina probably should have expected her world to be rocked, but she did a pretty good job of distracting herself with her and Sunny's wedding. See the gorgeous pics here, and her burgeoning bond with long-lost daughter Willow. In other developments, Cody puts his head together with Bud Dante, but the question is, Will the topic at hand be the feelings for Sasha that he perhaps doesn't even altogether understand himself, or the push-slash-pull that has left him unsure whether to admit to Mac that they are father and son? On still other fronts, as Tracy and Lucy turn deception into a battlefield, Maxi puts on an especially stylish business hat to share an idea that could be truly inspired. Plus, at long last, Kathleen Gady brings Obrecht back to the canvas. On Wednesday, she'll be reconnecting with Willow. And just in time, too. Something tells us that she's going to need Liesel's shoulder to cry on when she learns about her mom's treachery. In General Hospital's preview for the week of October 30, November 3, things are about to get spooky in Port Charles. Read on for the scoop and watch the teaser video. It's Halloween in Port Charles, and everyone is ready to celebrate. Adam, dressed as the Wolfman, shows up to scare Joss at her dorm at PCU. Of course, Joss doesn't realize it, but Adam is crushing on her pretty badly. The kids of all ages are out trick or treating. Aiden chooses a steampunk costume, Jake is a mad scientist, and Maxie's daughter Georgie is a little devil. Given she's Maxie's daughter, the costume fits. Scout goes as the Scarecrow, while Wiley chooses a Star Wars-themed costume, as does his father. They go as Luke and Darth Vader. Avery goes as a mermaid, and Donna is a rag doll. What's really scary is Nana and Carly are acting civil as the kids have a good time, though Michael is keeping a watchful eye. However, as the kids enjoy the holiday, ominous music builds. Jake can't seem to find Charlotte. Where is Charlotte? And what is her costume of choice this year? As Anna heads to an apartment and opens the door, we hear her yell, Freeze! Has she caught Charlotte in the act of terrorizing her once again? Read the General Hospital spoilers to find out who Laura turns to for help, and who gives Eddie a boost. Rick Springfield made a name for himself in daytime, as Dr. Noel Drake on General Hospital and also displayed his real-life singing talent as rocker Eli Love. Roger Howarth has appeared as three different characters on the ABC soap. First Todd, then as Franco, and currently as Austin. And could it be that we'll see another spin-off? If you will, a character who sings for a living. It's not likely, but the actor recently had some fun getting out of his comfort zone and urged fans to do the same. There is no comfort in comfort zone, Howarth shared, along with three photos taken from a singing session. Do weird new cool stuff. Give yourself a break for not knowing how the first time you try. He went to suggest putting punk rock back in your life and assured that the cavalry wasn't coming. So sing loud, he continued. If you can talk, you can sing. This is what I told myself yesterday. So, what brought all of this on? Howard thanked his rock star friend for challenging him, lifting him up, and simply supporting him. And from the sounds of things, he gave his vocal cords quite the workout, because he also gave thanks for the hot tea provided to him afterwards. Howard's post brought back memories of a time when he did belt out a tune in Port Charles. And if you've been watching him on General Hospital over the last few years, you may recall when he took the stage in 2019 at the Nurses' Ball as Franco opposite Kathleen Gaddy's Obrecht to perform Guilty. Not only did the stars do a fabulous rendition of the 1980s song by Barbara Streisand and Barry Gibb, Howarth showed he had the moves to go along with it too. 
When there's a baby involved, there's sure to be a few adorable photo shoots taken here and there, and that's exactly what took place for the son of General Hospital's Chad Duell, Michael. Little Dawson made his appearance back on Wednesday, August 30, and the proud papa, along with his girlfriend and equally smitten mama, Luana Lucci, posted a recent beautiful photo session for all to see. The first pic showed Dawson all swaddled up with one hand, placed on his cheek, and his little face couldn't have looked more peaceful. And that blue body, so adorable. The second had him snuggled against a stuffed sheep, while the third had him resting his head on his arms on top of a starry night cup with headphones keeping out the evening's scary sounds. And the last was a real treat. A close-up of Sweet Dawson as he snoozed his way through the session. And in yet another post, Lucci shared a special message surrounding her and Duel's union, along with two beautiful family photos, and stated, Love brought us together, and now, our love has created our beautiful family. Our journey has been filled with laughter, support, and countless memories. From partners to parents, we're excited for the next chapter of our story as a loving family of three. Last month, the ABC soap star gave fans a first look at his new bundle of joy as he announced his son's arrival into the world. Welcome to the world, Lil Dawson, Duell stated. Been quite the journey. Can't wait to see the great man you become. And it appears someone else in the family might have become a bit jealous of his new human siblings, since Duell posted an Instagram story on Monday, October 23, of his St. Berdoodle pup sitting on him and shared, thinks he's a lapdog. And for those who haven't met the pup in question, here's a pic Duell posted back in August with the caption, feeling cute, might delete later. Well, we're glad he didn't delete it, because it was cute, as was Dawson's adorable photo shoot. In General Hospital's preview for the week of October 23-27, to 27, is this the end for Cyrus? Read on for the scoop and watch the teaser video. Sonny was called home from his honeymoon early after Carly called to deliver some important news to him. Not only did she inform him of Ava's kidnapping by Mason, but that Cyrus Renal was released from Pentonville. He immediately connected the dots, and this week, Sonny told Dex that they need to stop the man that Mason works for, Cyrus. How will Sonny deal with his old again, new again enemy? Also coming this week, Brooklyn tells her mother that Tracy did everything she did for Tracy, but Lois says she's not so sure. Lois already confronted Tracy for blackmailing her daughter for greed, only for Tracy to tell Lois she schemed to get ownership of deception for Brooklyn. She wanted her granddaughter to have something to fall back on when her music failed her, just like it did her parents. Finally, after his mysterious SEC informant informed Michael that Martin Gray called the SEC on his mother and Drew, per Nina's orders, it is now time for Nina to pay the piper. Michael informs Nina that she was lucky, but now he knows, and her luck has run out. What will Michael do with this intel? Will he expose Nina, or use it to his advantage in another way? Read the General Hospital spoilers to find out which former super couple has a confrontation. Many of us have experienced it from time to time, trying to be or act like someone we aren't for one reason or another. And so has General Hospital alum, Kelly Thebod, expert. In fact, the former daytime actress got pretty candid in a recent TikTok video. Not only did she share her own experiences, she offered up some advice to show them who you really are. All while sporting a filtered new look. But beware. When we said candid, we meant really candid, and she wasn't afraid to throw in some profanity to prove her point. The bowed, using a bald photo filter, equipped with a five o'clock shadow, began by saying, I don't think you should do anything but be yourself. She went to reflect on times when she screwed herself over by trying to be someone I wasn't, especially in college, and how exhausting it was doing so and feeling like, I've been faking this whole time, like, I'm this cool girl. We're talking about going on dates and how some of us feel as though we have to look a certain way. Thibod threw in some wardrobe advice and stated, don't listen to people with the rules of dating, and explained why it's chiller and cooler if you confuse them. 
Oh, how she wished she would have told herself this when she was younger. It would have saved her from sitting up thinking about it and literally planning how she would respond until she realized, what am I doing? This is supposed to be fun. So, what was her final piece of advice? Show them who you are immediately, the actress suggested. And we can bet, if you do, it'll save you from feeling the way she did in the past. Watch the video for yourself to understand why her former castmate, Finola Hughes, Anna, was left saying, Ha 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 ha, Orange. You have to love it when one delivers an important message while having fun doing so which is exactly what Thibaut did.